You might be planning a barbecue this long weekend. Well, before you clean your grill, we have a warning. There are new concerns now after a six-year-old boy was hospitalized after ingesting wire bristles from a barbecue brush. Pat Foran has the story on Consumer Alert. Pat, not the first time you've warned us about this. Well, that's right, Ken and Michelle. They're one of the most popular brushes people use to clean their grills, but old worn-out wire brushes can lose their bristles. When they do, they can stick to your grill and then your food. If ingested, they can cause serious health problems. Nadia Sorelli remembers vividly how a backyard barbecue earlier this summer quickly became a medical emergency. She served her son a hamburger off the grill. Moments later, he said something was wrong. He was complaining about pain in his throat and he wasn't able to swallow his own saliva. Six-year-old Anthony says he felt like a needle was stuck in his throat. I took a bite of the burger and then, it, and then I was swallowing my food and then the bristle got swallowed too. Anthony was rushed to hospital. An x-ray found a tiny metal bristle that had fallen off the barbecue brush and stuck to a hamburger. He underwent emergency surgery. Removing the tiny bristle was a delicate operation. It's so small and tiny to the naked eye. And even for a, a specialist and a doctor trying to grab it and find it, it wasn't that easy. A University of Missouri study called loose brush bristles a growing health problem. Some brushes do come with a warning. Premium brushes are less likely to develop loose bristles. There are also grill cleaners that don't use metal wires. If you do use a wire brush like this to scrape down your grill, after you're done cleaning it, you should take a damp cloth and wipe down the grill to make sure there are no wire bristles there. But even then, they're so small, they can be difficult to see. Sorelli says she will no longer use one, and what happened to her son is a warning to others to be cautious when cleaning your barbecue. I think these brushes shouldn't be on the market. They should be banned. They're quite dangerous. If you have one of the brushes, inspect it carefully, and you may want to consider other options. Barbecue stores have cleaning blocks, nylon brushes, and scrapers that don't have wires that can come loose. On your side, I'm Pat Foran.